Chill of Earth. Welcome to the Clergy Council of ADF's Sam and Wright. Today we gather in remembrance of all those who've gone before, our beloved dead, those who've shown us the way. We will also honor the spirits of nature and the deities, mindful of their presence. We also take this time when the veil is thin to honor those who are vulnerable, who are impacted by hate, threatened with death or erasure. Know that we see you, whether you are our fellow traveler, a spirit who fears to be forgotten. This rite is done with our eyes upon you. May we pray with a good fire. And so, let us make our offerings in joy and in reverence. I purify you with water, water from the well, salt from the earth, water and salt combined. Let this water purify you. Let this water bless you. Let this water bring you blessings on this day. I purify you with air, smoke and fire rising up to the sky as an offering, as a blessing. Let this fire and smoke bless you. Let this fire and smoke purify you. Let this fire and smoke be a blessing on this day. I purify you with air. Children of the earth call out to the earth mother. Mother of all, you who support us in our work and in all that we do, we honor you best when we walk, walk gently across your bosom. Earth Mother, be with us now. We call to the powers of inspiration. Hear our call and enliven our hearts. Hear our words and enchant their meaning. See our passion and manifest it in the ritual before us. Muses make light our feet and lift our voices high. Flames of Bridget make bright and holy all the work which we are about to do in this ritual. Powers of inspiration inspire us. Powers of inspiration accept our own. As our ancestors did before us, so we do now, and so may our children do in the future. We come into this space to honor the spirits, the ancestors, the nature spirits, and the deities. And we call especially for all those following along at home, upon your spirit allies, the gods who guide you, the spirits of nature that surround you, and the ancestors who brought you to this path, whether they knew it or not. So take a moment now, reflect on them, and prepare to do the work that is ahead of us. Let us make our offerings today, as we always do, in joy and in reverence. So be it. The land upholds this work, the sea surrounds this work, and the sky stretches above this work. In this place, at this time, we pray that this fire become the sacred fire at the center of the worlds, and upon its smoke our voices will rise. In this place, at this time, we pray that the well reaches down to the current within the earth, and upon its waves our love will flow. It is in this place and at this time we pray that the tree stretches from the current of the earth below to the hot fiery heavens above upon which we can travel to other realms.
may each flow and grow within us. We call to the keeper of gates on this Samhain night. We ask for your assistance in the work that we are about to do. We hail to you, keeper of gates. We hail to you, Manana Naglir. We bring you offering. And we bid you welcome. Manana Naglir, accept this offering. Now, Keeper of Gates, we ask that you mix your magics with mine to help us open the gates between the worlds on this Samhain night. Manana McLear, help us open this well as a gate to the ancestors through this water, through this sea, through this realm, through this hallow, down to the ancestors. We call to you, Manana McLear, to help us open this gate, this gateway between the fire, ourselves, and the sky. We ask that you open this fire as a gate, a gate between the sky and the fire and the shining ones. We call to you, Manana McLear, and we ask for your help in opening this gate this gateway of the tree, the tree here in the realm of the land, in the realm of the nature spirits. Let this gate be open to the spirits of nature and let this tree span the worlds between the world of the ancestors in the well and the world of the shiny ones through the fire. Manana McLear, let the gates be open. We call to the spirits of this place and spirits of nature, you of root and soil, you of bark and limb, you of flesh and bone, you of scale and fin, you of air and light and sound and clouds. Spirits of this place, our kin of the growing green, accept this offering. Bright and shining gods of the assembled folk, gods and goddesses of this place, not known to us and unknown. Gods and goddesses, we invite you to our fire. Join us here at the boundary, mix your magic with ours, and revel in our right. Gods and goddesses, accept this offering. We call to the ancestors on this night, ancestors of our blood, those who are our direct kin, Ancestors of the heart and hearth, those ancestors of heart, those that we care about, those of our hearth we call to you, and ancestors of the bone, those ancestors beneath our feet. We call to you on this Sawa night. We call to you and we feel you close, close to us on this night. Bring us your guidance. Bring us your wisdom, bring us your presence, and let us feel you once again. Ancestors, blood, heart, and bone, we ask that you accept these offerings. Ancestors, accept these offerings. Mighty kindred, we had honored you we have offered to you, we have gifted you, we have sung your praises, and we ask you now, kindred all, accept our sacrifice. Kindred all, accept our sacrifice. Kindred all, accept our sacrifice. So be it. We have given offerings. We have called the kindreds. And now we ask our kindreds what blessings they have for us in return. 
we received gamma, sigma, and lambda. Gamma. The Earth Mother will give you the ripe fruit of your labors. This is a message of successful harvest and fruitful conclusions. It speaks of things being complete and productive. Sigma. Apollo speaks plainly. Stay, friend. Sigma is a message of waiting, of holding your ground, and being patient with progress before it moves forward. Lambda. The one passing on the left bodes well for everything. Lambda is a message of a blessing in disguise, something positive happening out of something that was unexpected. Taken together, this is a positive omen. We have gamma, speaking of success. We have sigma, telling us to be patient. And lambda, a blessing in disguise. Many people in our congregation are feeling threatened by what is going on in the world around us. The politics have been ugly, and we are all in need of reassurance from the gods, the ancestors, and the spirits of nature. So I have decided to alter the squatters of life slightly to more appear like a unity life, to hopefully bring us all back together in one sacred grove where we stand. The people of ADF come from many walks of life. We identify with many different cultures, different deities. As individuals, we may identify with many different ancestors, races, colors. We see many more shades of color than just one single rainbow shade. We may identify as many different sexes, genders, sexual orientations. This is all up to the individual. How we appear to the outside world is changeable. What we express comes from the heart and the soul. Our strength is in our diversity. And through this diversity, we bless each other with friendship, community, and a chance to learn and grow from each other. The rainbow flag has six colors. As you may see before me, red symbolizes the color of life, inherent in every being. We add this to the well. Yellow symbolizes the color of sunlight, the light that illuminates the path before us, the meaning in our life, the feeling in our hearts, wherever light is called for. Let us add sunlight. Green symbolizes nature and the Mother Earth, as we are all an intrinsic part of all the nature that surrounds us. We are green to the well. Orange, because at some time in our life, each one of us may need a bit of healing. Orange is the healing we add to the well. Blue is a symbol of harmony, which we all seek to find to share. We add harmony to the world. And the sixth color is violet, a symbol of spirit. It can be the divine spirit that speaks to us through the shining ones, or it could be the divine spirit of the fire we light within ourselves. We add spirit to the world. These colors merge form a many colored prism through which we might view or express any color or all the colors at once. If you can see this clearly, it's like a dark green and a brown. Not exactly a pretty color, but it is the color of the Earth Mother, especially at this time of the year in North America. And just as we start with the Earth Mother, start with the Earth Mother here as well. And we pour. We pour out for the Earth Mother. 
we pour in honor of the ancestors that give their wisdom. We pour in honor of the nature spirits who share their vitality and their beauty. We pour for the shining ones who guide the path we walk on. And now we pour for the people of this community. We begin by pouring for the lesbians, we pour for the gay, and we pour for the bisexual people of our community. We pour in honor of the transgender people, and we pour in honor of the intersex people. We pour in honor of the asexual, the agendered, those who choose gender conforming or gender non conforming to express themselves, and those who choose the term queer. We pour for you as well. In our community, we are all one. We pour for the allies that stand with us, that support us, encourage us, and wrap us in their mantle of awareness and acceptance. And we pour for those of our membership who may not understand us and may not be prepared to accept us, that one day they too will stand with us as equals, as all one part of our sacred grove. And we pour for all groves, all solitaries, wherever they may be, in need of blessings. Whatever blessings they may need, may they flow to you. May these blessings form a stream, a river of rushing water, Bless, carrying the blessings for the blessings of community, friendship, awareness, healing, whatever we need. May all blessings to you be those that you need, those that you need in your heart. May they all speak to you wherever you are in this world. And may the spirit of the season recharge and renew us as it is right and true wherever we are. May the blessings flow to you. So be it. We call out once more to the shining gods and goddesses, those who've walked with us, given us omen, given us blessing given us joy in the work. We call out this last time in this rite. Shining and chthonic ones, you gods in the heavens, in the midworld and the underworld, who have joined your magic with ours, who have been here, we give you our gratitude. Gratitude that you came. Gratitude that you are willing to align with us. Shining gods and goddesses, we thank you. To the spirits of this place who have reveled with us in our right, who have mixed their magic with ours, we offer you our thanks for your blessings and your wisdom and your companionship. Accept our gratitude. Nature spirits, we thank you. Ancestors. We have shared this Samhain night with you. You have come to be here with us here on this night. Ancestors of our blood, our direct lines, ancestors of the heart and hearth, those close to our hearts and those close to the fires of our hearth, and ancestors of the bone, those who were here long before us. We thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for your guidance and we thank you for your presence this day and every day. With this being said, we say on this Samhain night, 
ancestors, we thank you. Manan and McLear, our work tonight is almost done. We have thanked the deities of the occasion. We have thanked the kindreds. Now it is time to ask you once again for your aid in closing the gates between the worlds. Manana McLear, we appreciate the help you have given us this evening, and we ask that you accept this offering. Manana McLear, we thank you. Manana McLear, mix your magics with mine once again as we close these gates. Let this walk bowl be just a bowl of water. Let this fire be just flame. And let this tree that once spanned the worlds between the sky and the land, the shining ones of the ancestors, here in the realm of the nature spirits, let this tree be just a tree once again. Anana McLear, let the gates be closed. Powers of inspiration, you have honeyed our tongues and brought magic to our words and actions. Muses, you have brought music in our minds and manifested it in our words and acts. We are made eloquent and articulate with your blessing upon us. Bridget, our brow shines with your radiance. Powers of inspiration, we thank you. Earth Mother, for supporting us in our right as you do all days. We return all these offerings left unused to you, and we remember that we honor you best when we walk gently upon you. Earth Mother, we thank you. Children of Earth, we have offered and we have honored. We have stood upon the Earth Mother and remembered the dead. We have put our vision-filled eyes upon our fellows and shared blessing with them. Their path is brighter as ours is brighter. Children of Earth, go with the fire in peace and blessing. This rite is ended. Thank you for watching this Samhain rite presented by the ADF Clergy Council. For more information about Druidry, visit our website at adf.org.